Well, as the chairs are brought up here, you know something special is going to occur. I don't believe in the history of Trinity High School there has ever been a conductor sawed in half. And that's not going to change tonight. But ladies and gentlemen, if you would please welcome the incomparable Doc Dixon. You know, the night's not over. The night is not over by any means. So you have something special planned for us tonight. It's not only special, but deeply emotional moving. Oh. We, we may achieve Oprah status. <laughs> Brace yourself. Uh, though I have been a uh, full-time professional magician for well over 30 years, my, the beginnings of my involvement with the art form actually began, excuse me, <clears throat> began with music in a somewhat uh, sad childhood depressing way. Uh, as a young boy, I grew up in McKee sport. Uh, you know that's true because that's not the kind of thing anybody ever makes up. <laughs> There's a lot of love out there. Okay. And, um, excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, front row seats are fun. <laughs> and it occurred in one of my childhood birthday parties. There was a bit of a mishap, a clerical error. Uh, the invites had the wrong date on them. Everybody, ah. <laughs> you need a conductor. And no one showed up. But it, instead of being sad, it was actually very special because I was ready to show everyone this really cool card trick, all my friends. But I tell you what, mom and dad, they were as fun and as crazy and as loving as a dozen crazy little kids could be. And so I want to reenact that moment for you here tonight, that birthday party. Now, I'll need someone to help me out now. Before the show, I, I spoke with a little girl. Isabel, is she out there? Yeah, come on up, wherever she, Isabel, where, oh, there she is, yeah. Give her a big round of applause, everybody. <laughs> Clap like it's your kid. That's better. Hi, Isabel. Thanks for helping out. Have a seat right here. By the way, everyone, when I said clap like it's your kid, I, if you didn't clap at that moment, congratulations. You're officially a bad person. <laughs> Hi, Isabel. Thanks for helping out. How old are you? Eight. Oh, wow. He, he's got it covered. Eight. Wow, that's impressive. When I was your age, I was barely six. Nice work, kid. Nice work. Uh, let's see, to know each other a little better, because we just met. Uh, are you married? No. Good. Good answer. How old do you think you'll be when you get married? I don't know. Take a guess. 35. Good answer, kid. Good answer. I have a daughter. I like that answer. I like that answer. Here's what we're going to do. You are going to play the part of me as a little kid. You're a lot cuter than me, so just what we got to work with what we got, okay? What happened was I, at my birthday party, wanted to combine musical, hence the music part, musical chairs and magic. So uh, I worked with my mom and dad to do that, and I was the person who kind of ran the musical chairs, and my dad danced. Now, is, is your dad here tonight? Yes. Awesome. Where's your dad? <laughs> oh, wow. I guess you were picked at random, weren't you, Isabel? <laughs> hmm. Are there any reporters here? Nepotism scandal in Washington Symphony. Could have, could have told me. I mean, when he went on for 20 minutes, this girl is so cute. I should have known. Well. Would you mind helping us out? Give our conductor a big round of applause. He's been drafted. Here. I'll toss these to you, please, Catch. Take the cards out of the box, please. Now you cavalierly toss the box. <laughs> Bassoons, hit it! No, <laughs> sorry, here, let me help you out, buddy. I've been there, too, way more times than you have oh, doing sure. this. Oh, it's all right, buddy. It's all right. I just cut my nails today, too. I know, I know. 
there was a sudden gust of gravity here. <laughs> We're good. Now mix them up, bud. Mix them up. They're pretty mixed. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Now, mix them up a little more. Okay. Just be fair. You, it's good. you look like you're milking a cow. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Which, by the way, I know what that looks like. My, li my late father was a dairy farmer. Yes, that makes me a dairy heir. <laughs> See, that was like a joke, but without the time-consuming laughter. <laughs> See? All right. Now, here's what we're... <laughs> Excellent. If you would take uh, roughly equal groups of those, about a fourth, and put a fourth of each of the deck of cards on each of those chairs. Now, here, while your dad's doing that, here's what we're going to do. We're going to play musical chairs, okay? Our wonderful orchestra will play a little song. Oh, by the way, a little change here. There's an obscure classical composer, if you could do this, um, Edward Von Halen. You may... <laughs> Sorry. Okay, stick with the script. Okay. And we will, they will play that. You will give Daddy a dance cue. They will start to play. And then whenever you say stop into the microphone, nice and loud, the music will stop, and he will stop going up and down and immediately sit in the closest chair. Sounds like a plan? Okay. Here's what you'll say. Now, let's practice. You'll say, dance, Daddy, dance. Dance, Daddy, dance. <laughs> I am shamely riding the wave of your cuteness. <laughs> All right, our prediction here, we'll leave these, I'll hold these out here. All right. Hey, I feel the power. Okay, <laughs> I feel the fear. All right, are we ready? Are we ready? All right. Want, tell them stop. Stop. If you would please take the cards underneath you, flip them over, and cavalierly toss them at the audience. If you, yes. All right, he has to dance a little more. We gotta illuminate those cards. Go for it. Tell him what to do. Dance, Daddy, dance. Whatever you want, tell him to stop. Stop. Take the cards underneath you, flip them over, throw them at the, I mean, toss them gently at the eye. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Got in the third row. Can we get the juggler back here? <laughs> All right. Two more. One, one more dance because we're just about eliminating that last chair. Are you ready? This is your last chance. I want to hear it nice and loud. Dance, Daddy, dance. Take the cards underneath you, flip them over, toss them into the audience. <laughs> I have no idea where this is going. You have probably about 13 cards there. Take one of them out. Oh, sure, sure. Take anyone you want. <laughs> Little girl in the front one. That one. <laughs> Take one out and throw the rest of them towards the audience. <laughs> ah! Paper cut. <laughs> now, show that card to the rest of the audience. <laughs> All right. In your kind of littered up deck all over the place here. All of them were face up except the one you have. Now let's hope 
In this rather large, oversized deck of cards, oh, there's one already, we've hit it already, one turned over card. What card did you choose? The Jack of Diamonds. The Jack of Diamonds. I think it would be pretty awesome if this were the Jack of Diamonds, but not awesome enough. We have great musicians here, a great audience. I got to bring it up a notch. So watch. I snap my fingers and it changes into the Ace of Spades. <laughs> Kid, give him the cute. Give him the cute. The cute. When now, you wanted the Jack of Diamonds. Get ready. Make some noise. Jack of Diamonds. <laughs> Give your connection. Give Isabel a huge round of applause. Stand up, sweetheart. Take a bow. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Isabel. Thank you, Doc Dixon. Ladies and gentlemen, Doc Dixon. Thank you, good man. Thank you, Thank Isabel. You. Wonderful. Thank you. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three.